I was supposed to do a series of videos, a different video each day, 14 things I've learned as a dating coach, but you might have realized I've been very bad with my productivity. Because I've been on holiday with family out here in Turkey, and I, mean, I don't really have an excuse to give you beyond that. The reason I'm here today is because my uncle has just died. Find out maybe an hour ago, an hour and a half. My mum's in bits. I spoke to my cousins, they're not happy crying. It's kind of messed up. And the thing is this, so my uncle was one of the strongest men I've ever known. So if you think of men who you know, who to you, they seem to be a example of what it means to be a man. That was my uncle. He was strong, he was confident, he had opinions, he looked after his family. A man's man. Nothing, nothing, you know, we speak about like soy boys or whatever, men being demascul demasculated, emasculated, whatever in society. Not my uncle at all. This is what a man is supposed to be. And he got dementia, Alzheimer's, something like that about a year ago. And it is crazy how fast he deteriorated in the space of one year. In the space of one year, he went from everything I just said to a man who forgot how to walk like he just couldn't remember how to walk and he needed help to get up the stairs and stuff he started talking to people who weren't there he's having conversation with people who weren't there he's losing he doesn't know where he is he doesn't know what's going on i saw him must have been about four or five months ago and he was so slow just slow you know, you can adjust the speed on YouTube. It was like his speed was at 0.25 or something like that. It was just slow. And it's been so depressing to actually watch that deterioration. And then he just died. It was like, you know. And the crazy thing is that I'm here right now in Turkey. And I'm here with my dad. I see my dad deteriorating. I see my dad losing confidence to do stuff that he just did. Like my dad was always like a disciplinarian on top of things. I think he was like in the police for a while and it kind of showed in a way that he handled everything because he was just very switched on. To the point where let's say my dad had like bottles of alcohol. If I had a sip, he would know exactly what level the alcohol was at like the actual level of the alcohol lined up with this T here but now it lines up with the S that means you've had some and I watch this deterioration happen to my dad to the point where I am now in a position where I need to look after my parents that's a sobering thought that I've always felt like I've had them to lean on I was like nah like actually that needs to be me now I'm the one He's gonna look after them. And what's the point of getting out? Like, it doesn't last forever. Like, it really doesn't. And I, my dad and my uncle are way older than you, so you might be hearing this go, well, what does this mean to me? I'm 24, 5, 6, 7, 8, whatever, but you don't know. You don't. My brother who's holding this camera has had God knows how many of his friends die over the years. Like, God knows how many people I went to school with have died like it just happens and you really don't know when it's gonna come you don't know if you're gonna go to the doctors and find out you got cancer you don't know if you're gonna get run over by a truck you don't know if you're gonna have a random heart attack like my nephew did about 12 13 years ago you have no idea and what we do is we like to think that we're gonna live forever we really do I mean look you see this muscle here like I really identify with this and I've got a story which is that I'm superhuman and that nothing's ever gonna harm me but it's bullshit isn't it it's actually not true I'm not superhuman and sadly things are going to fucking harm me and none of us are actually gonna be here forever so whatever it is that you are putting off of course if you're watching this channel here's the thing if you're watching this channel you're like I want to learn to improve my skills with women that's it right on some level you do which is why you're watching this and not Netflix but if you're like 98% of the people watching this channel you like watching but you don't really do anything with the information that you watch 
because just by watching the video and having me give you some text message sequence or whatever that allows you to feel like you're actually doing something about the problem but you're actually not like you're not you're not doing shit and the truth is that let's assume that you don't die tomorrow you're not run over by a bus well, you just get older and older and older and you know like the little voice in the back of your brain that's telling you that you should be doing something. Well, that voice never goes away. And all that happens is that the older you get, the louder that voice gets. But the louder that voice gets, the less time you've got. Then you reach a point where it's actually too late for you to do whatever it is that the voice was telling you to do, but the voice still doesn't fucking go away. Then you have to live with the pain, the angst, the whatever the hell you want to call it, and the fact that you didn't actually fucking do that thing. Like they say, what are the main regrets of people who are old and dying? And it's always stuff that they didn't do. It's always stuff they didn't do. That's it. I know I did another video about this recently. Like I know I have, so it's like I'm retreading the same territory. But it needs to be fucking said. It really does. Because I speak to so many guys who are like, yeah, I'll do it tomorrow, I'll do it tomorrow. Like, you won't. If you're not prepared to do it today, you're not gonna do it tomorrow. So actually do it today. Do it. Now look, right? I am quitting as a coach. If you want, right? If you actually do want to make this change, then book a call with me and let's talk about getting you onto my coaching program because guys I coach have their lives transformed. However, if for some reason you might think, screw this guy for using the death of his uncle to get clients, then don't contact me. Contact somebody else. Contact Ice White, contact Max, contact Bradicus, contact Justin Mark. Contact any other coach who you're following if you don't want to contact me. But contact someone. Because someone who's already done the thing that you're trying to do can get you to the place that you want to be faster than you can get on your own. And my little brother's sneezing. That's what you just heard there. <laughs> anyway, that's it. That's the end of this video. Thanks for your time. I'm out here in Olu Denise. Very beautiful place. You should travel more as well. Go out and see the world. I don't know if you saw, but there's some guy paragliding. I'm gonna do that tomorrow. It's gonna to be absolutely terrifying, but I'm gonna do it. And I'm also gonna do a video while I'm paragliding too. That's gonna to be interesting. Bye-bye.